We see more and more aluminum today in automotives, you know that, and guess what? There's a whole lot more of that coming right up. Well, we're here at the 2018 World Congress Experience. I'm here at the AEC booth where aluminum extruding is your life, right, pretty much. Uh, this is Lynn Brown, and uh, he knows more about aluminum extruding than anybody I've ever met before. So, first of all, we're seeing more and more aluminum than ever before. And um, why is that? How, why is that relevant? And, and I, I guess the technology is to the point now where it's just as good as anything else, steel or anything, right? Well, Jim, you're, you're right. We're seeing a lot more aluminum extrusion in particular. Um, we're seeing probably one and a half to two pounds more per vehicle each year over the last four or five years. Wow. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Number one, uh, all the automakers are trying to improve the efficiency of their vehicles, reduce fuel consumption, reduce emissions, and aluminum gives them a lightweight way to do that. So at the end of the day, we take weight out, we can increase performance, we can increase, increase load capacity, and still consume less fuel. So that's what's really been driving uh, the, the growth of aluminum. And as the engineers learn more and more about the extrusion process and the aluminum material, they're finding clever ways to use it. So you'll see extrusions in everything from automotive frames, uh, decorative trim members on the outside, uh, components in the instrument panel hidden behind all that nice wood and leather, uh, and very importantly, what we call crush cans, which are mounted at the front of the vehicle, and that's what takes the impact and dissipates that force in the course of a collision. Right, and the one we're looking at now is one that's already been crushed, hasn't it? Absolutely, yes. Right. This is the way it's tested to make sure that it compresses on itself and that energy goes into compressing the aluminum rather than being transmitted to the uh, to the passengers, the occupants of the vehicle. Right, and I noticed that that motor housing that you're holding right now, uh, that has replaced metal, so we're seeing really aluminum in all sorts of configurations today. That motor housing is for an electric drive motor that's used at the wheel uh, in a heavy duty truck. And as we see more and more autos going over to electric drive, again we see more aluminum. It, the lighter vehicle extends battery life, battery range, and uh, there's also, you know, one of the great things about aluminum is that it dissipates heat well. And with the batteries, we need to dissipate heat. With the electronic components, we need to dissipate heat. So another reason that we're seeing more extrusion. Yeah, I can see that. And I guess a big thing that uh, I think that I've heard maybe is people say, is this stuff as strong as steel or is it good enough? Um, what do you think about that? It all depends on the specific alloy that's used and the way it's designed. And you can take a relatively, what we would consider a, a softer alloy, but design it with an interior element, and that provides a great deal of structure. So the way you use the geometry, the combination of geometry, and the way the aluminum is processed, and the specific alloy, you can really tailor the performance to your specific requirements. So we're going into applications where traditionally people only thought steel. Oh uh, yeah, that's for sure. Well, where can uh, our viewers find out a little bit more about um, uh, well, AEC and the, uh, the council, and uh, maybe the use of aluminum. Well, our, our website would be a great place to start. It's aec.org, because we are a trade association. We represent about 60 aluminum extruders who are the bulk of the North American industry. Great, and of course, we'll put that information in the de video description down below. And also, put your comments down there. What do you think? Uh, what is your experience? And uh, if you have questions or comments, uh, you guys should look at the video comments maybe from time to time and answer them way better than I can. Uh, so, uh, check it out and um, I don't know, is aluminum in your future? I'll bet it is.